In addition to taking assets from the project panel and dropping them into a timeline to create a layer, you can also create layers from scratch from within After Effects. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's just start up After Effects here. And in the welcome screen, you can just click on New Composition. I'm going to take the settings that I used most recently, which is HDTV 1920 by 1080. You can use any settings you please because the frame size and the frame rate and other things here really aren't that important in terms of seeing how this thing works. So let's just click OK for that, call it Comp 1, and off we go. We have this empty composition now, and I want to add layers to it. And I'm not going to use any assets from the project panel. There aren't any here anyways. We're going to make them from scratch. And there are a couple ways to do that. The sort of standard way to do it is to go Layer, New. And you can see the new kinds of layers that you can add to a composition. But I like working with what are called context menus. So I'll click here. And a context menu is when you right click someplace and it puts up a menu that's contextual for where you clicked. So I'm going to right click here in the timeline. And it says New. And you get that same list again. I'm going to work with Text, Solid, Shape, and Adjustment in this lesson. Null Object is a kind of a layer that allows you to control other layers. We're going to save that for later in the course. Light and camera are things that you work with in 3D, and we'll cover those guys later in the course as well. We're not going to worry about Adobe Photoshop files, because that kind of goes outside of our After Effects course here. So these are the four things we're going to work on. Text, solid, shape, and adjustment. So let's start off with solid. The solid settings dialog box says, do you want to keep it the same size of the comp you're working on? Which is fine. Sometimes you don't, but they'll take the default here, same size of the comp. And the color down here is really the main option. You click here in the color swatch and pick any color you want. Let's go with red for now. Dark red like that, click OK, and notice how the name changes to Deep Red Solid. I'll click OK, and there is this Deep Red Solid thing there. You can always change that. You're not stuck with this color. If you want to change the color, make sure the layer is selected down here, and then go Layer, Solid Settings, click that. If you change to another color, let's say blue, for example, change that, and notice the name changes. Click OK, now it's blue. And if you go to the Solids folder here, you'll see that it's also called Blue here. It takes on the name of whatever the color is inside there. You can change the name, but that's the name it takes on when you create these guys or change the color. All right, that's the Solid. Let's add something else to this comp. I'm going to right-click down here again and say New Text. Now I'm going to talk about text in great detail in some upcoming lessons, so we're just going to gloss over it here a bit. Click on Text. That puts a little cursor right there in the middle of the screen, where if you just start typing, It'll take on the color and font and other characteristics of whatever you worked on previously, in this case, green and Adobe Castellan Pro. There you go. And if I want to click away from that, I can click on the selection tool there, and that clicks away and selects it. Now we can move it around like so, change the size, what have you. There we go. That's some text. You work with text a lot inside After Effects. So that's text. We'll right-click now and add something else. Now we're going to add a shape layer. Click on that. So that creates a shape layer with no shape in it that you can see. You just see a little blue thing there. If I click away, then that goes away. If I click the shape layer again, then it appears again. But we need to add a shape to it. We're going to talk about shapes in great detail in upcoming lessons. So I'll just, again, gloss over it here as well. Here's the shape tool. I'll click this little triangle down there, open it up. There we go. And I'm going to go with a star tool like that. Now if I click anywhere with the shape layer selected, it'll add that shape to that layer. There we go. Click on the selection tool, and I can move it around. Covering up text a bit there. There you go. I'll close that down up here so you don't see all the stuff here, all these groups. Perhaps you notice that as we add layers, they automatically put them above the other layers. You can always arrange them later. I'll take the shape put it below the text now. Now the text is on top of the shape. There you go. All right. Let's add one more layer, an adjustment layer. I'm going to right click here, new adjustment layer. And an adjustment layer is transparent. It's appearing above everything here, but you can't see it. That's because it's intended to be used as something on which you apply effects that then appear on everything below it that's visible below it. So I'm just going to add an effect here. Go to the Effects panel here. And again, we'll talk about effects in much greater detail in later lessons, but I just want to show you briefly how this works. I'll type in Hue to track down the Hue Saturation effect. I'm going to drag that to that layer to add the effect to the layer. Now we've added Hue to it. Nothing's happened yet. Change the Hue obviously changing it really quite dramatically there. And now that's affecting everything below it. If I take that adjustment layer and knock it down one layer, it won't affect text anymore. Now the text has its original color. Drag it below the shape layer, and it won't affect the shape layer anymore. It has its original color. And I drag it below the solid, and the solid has its original color. You can see how that works one layer at a time there. It keeps on picking up layers as we move it through all these layers like that. 
So that's how you can create layers from scratch inside After Effects. You're going to work with solid shape text and adjustment layers a lot. So I just want to show you how to do that so when they come up later, it'll be kind of automatic when you add these guys.